The books penned by Moses, called the Torah or Pentateuch, were often referred to by the Jews as the five-fifths of the law, or simply the fifths. They recognized that Genesis through Deuteronomy formed a unit divided into five progressive sections, each having as its title the first word or phrase in the book. On these books, the whole Bible rests. They give us a sweeping history, unique in literature, of the first 2,500 years of God's dealing with man. More than this, they reveal a progressive blueprint of the experience of God's people. They're the Bible in miniature, but also the believer's history presented positively and negatively. Negatively, they were preserved for our correction. These things happened to them for examples, and they're written for our admonition, 1 Corinthians 10, 11. They're also given positively for our encouragement. Whatever things were written before were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, Romans 15, 4. Genesis is the book of explanation from God for creation, man's sad condition through his sin, the reasons for the judgments of the curse, the flood, and the confounding of the languages, and his call of Abram. It teaches us God's authority in creation, providence, and history. Exodus is the book of redemption through God. There is deliverance by bloodshed and applied in Egypt, and deliverance through the water by the mighty arm of the Lord out of Egypt. Leviticus is the book of communion with God. It's his primer on worship. The pattern and prohibitions are declared. This book illustrates many aspects of the cross work of our Savior. Numbers is the book of direction from God, where the twofold secret of trust and obey is the key to progress in the desert journey. This is used as God's picture book in the New Testament. Deuteronomy is the book of instruction from God, where he lays down the process by which spiritual truth can be effectively passed on to the next generation. To help us remember these themes, we might say, in Genesis, man is formed and then deformed by sin. In Exodus, he is reformed, being changed from a labor camp slave to a pilgrim heading home. In Leviticus, he is transformed from an earthbound laborer to a heavenward worshiper, setting his mind on things above. In Numbers, he is to be conformed to the will of God, walking in obedience to his command. In Deuteronomy, man is informed through God's word so that he might not only live it himself, but teach it to his children. From God's side, in these five books, he unfolds his authority, grace, holiness, discipline, and faithfulness. This section is full of Christ in types, prophecies, and appearings. Thus it was that the great expositor expounded himself from Moses as well as the rest of the Old Testament on the Emmaus Road. May our hearts burn with devotion too as we make the same journey by faith. And that's our scripture snapshot of the five books of Moses.